Hello everyone, well it's the first of the month which can only mean one thing, pinch punch, first of the month, or white rabbits they used to say at school, I don't know what that means, but when I was at school yes it was pinch punch first of the month where somebody would give you a pinch and a punch and say it's the first of the month, of course now if anyone gave you a pinch or a punch at school you'd be straight to jail, do not pass go. Now where am I going with this, I don't know, it's very warm here, I'm quite moist, which is why I'm next to my Dyson Pure Cool fan, it's only on low power, but uh, it's giving me a nice gentle breeze. Isn't it Daisy? It's too warm for cuddles. Right, what are we doing? Uh, oh yeah, vacuum of the month, isn't it? This was vacuum of the month, the Hoover Vortex Evo. I've used this as my only vacuum for the entire month of May. I've cheated a little bit. I did occasionally use the Air Ram, just occasionally and um, my Miele U1 allergy but most of the time I've been using this cleaner so uh, it'll be interesting to see when I empty it how much dirt we've picked up over the course of the month of May. Now April's vacuum was the Miele C3 Comfort Boost and uh, I wrote it down that picked up 265 grams of dirt throughout the month, so it'll be interesting to see how much the Vortex Evo picked up. Right Daisy, let's uh, tell the viewers, or viewer, what I thought about this very budget priced, very plastic Hoover Vortex Evo. Now compared to using the Miele, it was much much easier to use, um, and it picked up pet hair very well, in fact there's going to be a lot of pet hair I think inside here and inside the bag that's got the other dirt that I've been emptying the dirt into. Now it's a fairly large capacity this but obviously I had to empty it a few times during the month um, but I've kept all the dirt. I have tapped the filter a couple of times, I've not given it a thorough clean, um, just given it a bit of a tap on the side just to help to maintain the suction but I think after this month I'll give it a proper clean. Uh, as Hoover recommend now, plus points about the Vortex Evo, it's very, very quiet. It's only got a 350 watt motor, which probably accounts for the fact it's very, very quiet. In fact, it's quiet, I think it's the quietest Hoover upright I've used, and I'm including vintage machines in um, that analogy. So it's pleasant to use, I'll give it that. So I could use this fairly late at night, and I wasn't concerned with disturbing anybody. Um, so it's quiet. It's fairly easy to use, it's light, and it did a good job as far as I could see. All my carpets were clean. Some negatives, the mains cord is very, very short, as you'd expect on a budget vacuum. So basically I had to plug it into every room I was cleaning. I had to plug it into a socket in the room, um, upstairs where I can normally, with most vacuums, not all, most vacuums, I can plug them into the landing and clean the bedroom right at the back of the house, right right to the end of the bedroom, the f furthest point. With this I had to plug it in in the bedroom itself because the main seat was just not long enough. Another thing that's annoying is this, now I have got the hose on for you to see but during the month I've had this hose off because it kept, kept, kept fall, falling off you see. This is the extension hose that you don't need normally, you only need that when you're using, using it on stairs or cleaning your upholstery. So I just left that off because it just kept coming undone. It is supposed to secure just here, there's a little bracket and it's supposed to hold on but it just kept falling off. It stayed on the top hook here but it just kept falling off and dangling about and you know. We, it was causing accidents, so I just got rid of it, but I still used it. I used it on stairs, it's alright, it doesn't clean up the stairs of course, it's not long enough. It was okay, but I found this was the best nozzle to use on the stairs, and actually with the brushes attached, so you've got a little bit of agitation. I did use it like this, without the brushes for my upholstery. It's a silly shaped nozzle, but to use it you sort of do it, do it in a sweeping action like this rather than back and forth like many nozzles, it's best in a side to side motion. So I use that and I use the crevice tool that's on board which is a good 
good nice length and I also used the extension one especially around my kitchen cleaning down the sides of my appliances and in the corners so that was good for that but I didn't use the PETS turbo nozzle the suction is just not really powerful enough to make that nozzle spin so basically that that's no use no ornament really but I found this nozzle with the brush was okay for doing my stairs but I also used the machine in upright mode because it's fairly light it's a bit awkward to do it like this and there's nowhere really you can hold on to it but I did manage to sort of hold on to it like this and a few times I did my stairs in upright mode and the other times of course I used the hose so I I covered all bases basically but all in all for a budget cleaner it's fine the belt is still okay it didn't break um, because it does need to have belt replacement from time to time but it's it's lasted a month anyway um, and it seems robust nothing's broken off it's if you know the Hoover Pure Power Enigma upright that's made of a very brittle feeling plastic and you only have to look at that and you think think something's going to snap off I have to be really careful when using cleaners like that but this it's a sort of a much softer type of plastic so it will take the knocks I think I didn't abuse it but it just seems like it's a little bit more robust than um, some of the cheaper vacuum cleaners we get from China right I'm going to empty this out we're going to weigh out the dirt and then I'm going to reveal to you what I'm going to be using for the whole month of June okay I've got my scales here and this is the dirt I've picked up so far I've emptied so I've actually written on the bag in very childish handwriting May Hoover Vortex Evo now I am keeping every single bag of filth from every month so I'm planning possibly on the 1st of January to do an absolutely huge big mess test using all the dirt I've picked up throughout the year not many folks save up all their dirt for a whole year but that's what I'm gonna do right so here we have oh, there's quite a lot in there actually this is one thing I'm not keen on it's opaque you can't really see when it needs emptying you can see through it I've got quite bright lights on here so I can see it but it's not the best I hope you can't see any I'd better put this lovely look at this this is coming up um, after September you can see all the mess it's too, it's too reflective you'd see all the mess that's an AG chroma I've got to finish the video for that because I was in the middle of doing the video and I had a power cut so that's out because that needs to be done right now try and empty it as clean as possible I really should boost the old Dyson fan at the moment but anyway It'd be nice to show you. It's hard to show you without making a tip everywhere. Hang on. Oh, oh, hang on then, look. Look at that. Can you see that, folks, before I empty it? Oops, I've lost some of the dirt. So, as I said, it's very good on pet hair. Much better, actually, on pet hair than the Miele was. But then the Miele was a straight suction cleaner. Right, okay, so that's empty, and always, always, because I've emptied it into this, it's you get muck, you get dust on the outside of the bin, couldn't avoid it. So I just used to wipe that down with a damp, damp cloth. Just to show you a bit more, the filter, ooh. <laughs> right, yeah, this is empty now. The filter, as I said, I haven't thought, I did take the shroud off a couple of times during the month, and cleaned it but not none, none of these filters have been washed they've just been tapped clean I haven't even used another vacuum on them so it hasn't done bad obviously when I've done a big mess test using a similar machine to this with the same filter setup it couldn't cope it just clogged straight away got absolutely filthy but the cleaners aren't designed I do those from time to time but they're just for fun they're not cleaners aren't designed to pick up that amount of dirt so quickly that's why I'm doing vacuum of the month to use a vacuum as you'd normally use it on carpets that look fairly clean anyway so I was trying to keep all the dirt contained 
you can see there's a bit of muck around the top there but well the filter there it's very fine anyway I mean it's not fine it's coarse that's what I meant the filter's very coarse it doesn't look dirty but a lot any dirt that's passed through will have just passed through that filter anyway it wouldn't have clogged up and you can see on the bottom here look oh yuck oh it's falling everywhere so and you can see it's stuck to that side so I need to separate these now that what I've said before if you want to a budget vacuum I would go for a bagged budget vacuum because the cheaper the bagless vacuum on the whole the dirtier the filters will get and the quicker they'll get dirty and yeah. so this is the first shroud that needs a wash yuck uh, just trying to get some of the dirt out of it for all right all right that that's i'm just going to tap it and this that is quite dirty just going to tap it inside the bag dust is flying everywhere I'm not sure who would do recommend you do this it doesn't say how often in here but it does say in the instructions they do recommend you doing this quite frequently so I'm just tapping it normally you do this outside I would tap it gently against the side of your dustbin outside when it's not windy that'll do for now that would suffice now obviously it needs a thorough wash for maximum efficiency but it's okay but you know dust is everywhere now Ugh. so there we go so I can pop that all back together and pop it back in the machine I'll just put it to one side fortunately I have managed to spill some muck which won't get weighed but never mind right then let's see Ugh. there may be a gram of dust on the carpet I don't think this bag is going to weigh much this um, polythene bag so let's see so from the Miele last month we got 265 grams and from the Uva Vortex Evo ooh, let me just close it up a bit because it's uh, it certainly seems to be quite fibrous because with the Miele it was in a bag and a lot of it would have been compressed down. A bagless cleaner looks like it picks up a lot but the dust and the dirt it tends to be sort of aerated and it looks a lot more than it is. But with a good bag cleaner it compresses the dirt down. But this is picked up less than the Miele which is surprising. It's picked, probably picked up more fibrous material. Right. So it looks like it's 115 grams. Let's just check that again. So 115 grams, which is less than half. Surprisingly, that is surprising. <laughs> it's picked up less than half the straight suction Miele picked up. And this has agitation. So although it was easy to use and it picked up the pet air, probably wasn't cleaning very deep down. It was getting all the surface dirt off and the pet airs. That was fine. But yeah, 115 grams it's picked up this month. Well, that's the Hoover Vortex Evo out of the way. It's now time to reveal what my vacuum of the month for June will be. Now, sometimes I do a Facebook poll and get you to choose, vote for the cleaner you'd like to be vacuum of the month, but I haven't had time to do that this month. But the cleaner I will be using did come quite high up in a previous poll. I think it came second or third. So it's a popular choice with some. So all will be revealed. There we go, you can see that it's a Dyson and it's a Dyson cordless. And it's not a V10, it's my Dyson V7 motorhead. Um, I will get a V10, I expect at some point, but I still need to show you the V7. I've got a V8 to show you that I opened on Christmas day. And then maybe after I've shown you the V7 and V8, maybe I'll get a V10, but I'm not 
rushing to buy one of those. So this is the V7 motor head. So basically with this one, you get the motorized head with the carbon fiber brushes for carpets and tiled floors. And the only other two tools you get with this particular variant are the crevice tool and the combination tool, which is your sort of small nozzle and your dusting brush. It's got the quicker, easier emptying as well. That's one thing I'm not keen on the V6 and the V6 Fluffy that I've got. My mum also has a V6 Fluffy and she complains about all the mess that's left around the central shroud. But of course this has the cleaner bin emptying. So if you're looking at one of these, if you're looking between a V6 and a V7 personally, I would go for the V7 mainly because of the cleaner emptying because of course when you empty it the shroud there we go the shroud is cleaned using this sort of silicon band around it here this silicon ring and it wipes the shroud clean and anything that might get stuck to it you've got easy access but it normally does clean it every time you empty it so then you just Obviously the dirt falls out and then you press down the top and close the bin. And this has two positions. You've got your regular setting and max. And during the course of the month, I'll be using whichever setting. I'll probably use it on normal most of the time. But if I come across any particularly stubborn dirt, I'll flick it onto max from time to time. Um, only one other thing I want to show you, and it's a little recommendation if I can see, well, here it is. So anyway, this is vacuum of the month for June. Again, I'll be collecting all the dirt and weighing it and uh, seeing how much it picked up. It'll be interesting to see if it picked up more or picks up more than Hoover Vortex. And also I used the Shark um, cordless in January, I think it was. So it'll be interesting to see if it picks up any more dirt than the Shark during normal use. Now one tip, one thing, I'm not, uh, I'm not sponsored by <laughs> Vuplex, but I bought this uh, last week. Um, I just was searching for plastic polish and I thought, oh, I've never seen that. And it got good reviews. I bought it on eBay. And this is a plastic cleaner and anti-static polish. It is supposed to help restore scratched and faded plastic, you know, plastic that's gone a bit cloudy. But it's also, when used on new plastic, it is supposed to add a layer of protection. So what I've done as a little additional test, so it'll be interesting to see if it works, I've actually applied it to the inside and the outside, but mainly on the inside of the head here. And I've also applied it to the inside of the bin on the Dyson. So obviously that's, I have used this a little bit, but hardly at all really. So the bin is still very lovely and clean and clear. So it's been protected, hopefully, with the Vuplex. So search eBay, um, this is where I bought mine. You probably get it from Amazon, but I bought it from eBay. Just search Vuplex, V-U-P-L-E-X, plastic polish and you'll find several different uh, sizes and packs of this but I really recommend it I also used it on a very very vintage 1980s vacuum I unboxed earlier in the week and it made it look a whole lot better really disguises some of the scratches it's not a miracle worker but yeah if you want uh, your old appliances your old plastic stuff to shine try it I'd recommend it Again, I'm not sponsored by the Vuplex company or any of their affiliates. I just think it's, it's really good. I'll certainly be buying more of that when I've used it up. Okay, is there anything else to tell you? I don't think so. All that remains for this video, I'll just pick up the dirt that the Hoover Vortex left using the old V7. That can be its first job for June. And it's going to be a cordless month for me. It'll be very interesting to see the results on the 1st of July when I tell you about this and also show you what July's vacuum of the month will be. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this, the Hoover Vortex or any vacuum. Oh, by the way, yes, that's in the background being very quiet. The SIBO Felix demonstration will be coming up next week. 
I only just unboxed that because I got it from AO.com. I need to do the review a bit sooner than I would normally do a review. So you will be seeing a full proper demo of the SIBO Felix. Fantastic vacuum cleaner. I would recommend it. Anyway, that's me for this month. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.